uh, hi everyone so basic javascript questions are fine but like when we deal with javascript it always comes with the dom right when we write a client side javascript we always do is a dom manipulation but when when you want to uh, when somebody ask you to write a vanilla javascript code and create okay this create this dom using javascript where you have to create a node have to add inner html then you have to append that child to some node all these concepts you should be aware how to do the dom manipulations like uh, document dot create element document dot get element by id document dot select query selector all these concepts so you should be if uh, there is a requirement to construct a dom using vanilla javascript you should be able to do it so uh, uh, how we are going to do it we will just write a simple function and we will see so document dot body dot on load whenever body is getting on loaded we are going to call this add element function and uh, how this add element looks like is in this add element we will just create a new node okay so let's say let new div how we can create a new div using javascript is document dot create element there are different different methods create element i created a fresh new div using vanilla javascript and i will be creating the content also for it new content equal to document dot create text node it should be create text node I all okay now new div I can append this because this is a div and I can append a text node there it should be append child and new content okay now uh, I will just get the parent div which we already have which is document dot get element by id which is a container div we already have and on the container div i will append it so document dot body dot insert before uh, that can be based on your order so new div i am inserting before the current div right so we created a dynamic node added a text node to this so now this is a perfect uh, html dom node div with some text and i'm appending it to the container before container okay so dom manipulation is actually a uh, very highlighting concern and it should you should be aware about all these apis document dot get element by tag name class name how to uh, style the content right so once you get the dom node what all different things you can do you can actually up just change the styling uh, of a document node now i will we'll be writing this random snippets get element by id dot style dot color applying a css to a particular dom node right how you can get the the window height width and all that we already have like uh, you can just get the inner width outer width and all document dot inner width outer width at any moment you can just window and document apis are available in the browser you can access this okay now <coughs> uh, let, let's create a ul li tags at runtime and we will see how we are doing it so consider that we have an array const array and in the, inside this array we have let's say one two three and we will just iterate onto this array and we will create uh, an ordered list by ourselves okay so what we can do is we are running a for loop let i0 i is less than array dot length okay so here we have to create element let node equal to document dot create element the same uh, tag we have to use create element so we create element here and we'll pass li so because we are creating li tag 
and we can also create a text node text node equal to document dot create text node and we can just add array of i here which we are getting from i treating this array we set this text node now uh, we already have a node node dot append append child and we are just appending this text node there okay after this let's close this text node and uh, here we can just do document dot get element by id and we have items this items can be a tag name on the ul tag okay and here we are doing append child node so we created a line node and we are actually appending that to this right uh, pretty much simple so this is how we can actually at runtime uh, we can actually create a node we can also clone the nodes so what is the difference between uh, get element by id and the query selectors okay so in the query selectors you have to provide uh, I mean query selector you can do by class name by tag name so by id so here you have to provide hash if it is an id we actually clone this node we are not manipulating it we are cloning it and we are setting the attribute id to the new id okay then document dot get element by id items and appending this clone okay you can access the class list and all these things happens with the dom node not just creating the text node, creating the element and then appending the child. Whole lot of possibilities are there when you talk about DOM manipulation. You can actually create a simple JavaScript application by, by just writing this document.getElementById. Like simple to-do list, uh, simple sticky application, simple shopping cart also. Okay. So you should be good at uh, how, what all different methods are there. Uh, append child set attribute, get element by ID, query selector, query selector all okay get element by tag name get element by class name to access the node and do the manipulation there like changing the inner html create up, appending the new node or creating a text node and appending it to the parent all these things okay so let's talk more about uh, some more good javascript concepts in the next video